So WPS is a standard created by the Wi-Fi Alliance around about end of 2006, start of 2007. And it's a standard that you will find pretty much in every consumer grade home router nowadays. And the goal of the protocol is to make secure home wireless networks easy to set up. So <clears throat> there's a, s a couple of methods in the specification which allow you to connect to a wireless network in, a, in not the way you'd normally do it. So typically you'd open up your laptop, find the access point in the list, put in the, say, WPA pre-shared key. Um, the first method is the push button method, which requires physical access to the router, so, you know, fairly secure. Uh, there's an NFC method, which I've never seen implemented. There's a USB drive method, which I've never seen anyone use. And then there's the pin method, which is the most favorite, and the one I'm going to be talking about today. So, typical usage case, you get your wireless router from your ISP, <clears throat> and on the side of it, next to the SSID and the default uh, WPA key, there'll be an eight-digit pin number. Now, that's the WPS pin, and rather than entering the pre-shared key, which will typically be harder to remember than an eight-digit number, you put in the pin, and if it's incorrectly, if it's entered correctly, then the router will send you your, send the pre-shared key uh, to the laptop, and it will configure itself, and you'll be connected to the network. And if it's wrong, well, it'll tell you to try again. <coughs> so the security of the pin method. With eight digits, you've got 10 to the eight possibilities. Uh, and assuming a brute force attempt takes two seconds on one pin, then you're looking at 6.5 years to try and brute force access to a wireless network. Well, that isn't quite true because the eighth digit is a checksum digit. So you've got 10 to the 7 different combinations, which still would take you 237 days at two <coughs> seconds a guess. So that sounds pretty reasonable, right? No one's going to spend 237 days trying to get into your wireless access point. So a guy called Stefan Vibok came along at the end of 2011 and published a paper called Brute Forcing Wi-Fi Protected Setup When Poor Design Meets Poor Implementation. And the long and short of it is, what actually happens is your laptop, you type in a pin number, say 12345670, and the access point actually goes, no, that 1234 isn't right. Oh, dear. So all you have to do is try and change the first four digits on your next attempt, and eventually you'll reach a correct one. And the, the access point will go, yeah, it definitely starts 1879, but the last three, well, four digits need <coughs> thinking. So you go through that space, and eventually you'll come across the correct pin. So we've gone from 237 days of brute forcing down to six hours. Great. So I tried to set up a demo, and I'm really hoping this works. So I've got a virtual machine running on <coughs> my laptop, uh, running a dist Linux distribution called Kali, which is the successor to Backtrack. So I've got a standard home router here that's WPS enabled. And our first thing to do is set the interface into monitor mode, which allows it to see all packets rather than just things that are sent to its MAC address. We'll look for the wireless access point. And there it is. Oh, yeah, this was from the Redgate house, so it's called RG House. We'll take its MAC address, or BSSID, and note the fact that it's on channel 11. And we use a lovely tool called Reaver to brute force it. Please, please, please be kind, demo gods, please. Associates tries one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. Doesn't work. Tries zero, zero, zero. So it tries common ones to begin. Like, it tries, if it's been set by the user, which I don't think you can really do, it will try those first. And all of a sudden, we see that we're getting M5 and M4 come through. Once you start seeing M5, it means that you've got the correct first half of the pin. So it starts brute forcing the second half of the pin. And finally, we get the correct one, 18790535. And it gives you the WPA pre shared key. And then you can connect to the access point. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> the Wi Fi Alliance. <laughs> that's, that's the end of it. So, questions? Why on earth do they say, what's.
<laughs> exactly. So, yes, the password is correct. So, I don't think it was necessarily designed to be like that, but the design, the way it was designed, the way the messages are exchanged, leads to the leak. No matter what sort of way you try and implement it, it always ends up happening. The message should be, here's my pin, no, no. that's wrong. No, no yeah. But unfortunately, yeah. But they're not, they're not even enforcing the one try every two seconds, are they? You can try as quickly as So you can. that's, one try every two seconds is pretty much a, a good rate in terms of the overhead of actually associating and sending a pin and waiting for the responses because you have to set up a EAP session as well. So there's lots of overhead with every attempt. So two seconds is a pretty good rate. Um, there are mitigations now in firmware upgrades because everyone installs those, which say after say three incorrect attempts, you're locked out for 60 seconds. It would disable WPS for 60 seconds. So that mitigates against it. But who performs firmware upgrades, right? On their home router. What is that flashy box in the corner? Oh yeah, I sure as hell do, but I'm guessing 99% don't. That seems to be how many attempts was that actually doing? Because if that was once every two seconds, it seemed to get the first bit rather too yeah. quickly. So because I have five minutes and not six hours, I moved the known, so obviously I knew the pin ahead of time. So I moved that higher up in the order of guessing. It typically, uh, so if I, So this is the order of guessing. You'll see that I've inserted 1879, which is the first half just under 1111. So normally it would guess them in, in this order. And once it finds that, it will try. So it will then try. I put uh, 567 <coughs> is standard at the top because you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0 is the first try. And then I inserted the actual correct second half, 0, 053, not far after. So yeah because I don't have six hours to do a demo. Okay, so the, 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 the demo was MovieOS style. Yes. I know this, it's Unix breaks yeah. security in 30 seconds. Really, you're still looking at about the six, the, the, Half the, time, the yeah. maximum time being six hours, maximum and the average time. time being three hours. Yeah, assuming you get two attempts. Uh, what, two seconds every attempt. Do all WPS enabled routers have this vulnerability? Uh, to my knowledge. Really? Yeah, so. Is WPS enabled on my router? <laughs> Probably. When did you get your router? That's the question. So if you, if you, if you got it sort of before 2007, you probably don't have WPS at all. If you got it between 2007 and the end of 2011, it's probably vulnerable, providing you haven't done a firmware upgrade. Yeah. Is it uh, telling you which part of the is that anything you check stuff? Uh, no. No, there is a so if you look up um, Stefan Vielbach's paper, it explains how he came to the conclusion. It's really mathsy, and I don't get it. But. <coughs> yeah. Can you make more support requests in power? So yeah, I've got two of these. I've never tried it. I don't see why not. Yeah, because I think you actually only associate once, and then. Yeah, it, up, to, up to the processing capability of the router. I don't see why not. I'd never thought of that. <laughs> also, also like the way you had a really, really incredibly long and complicated pre-shared key, as if that's the security fault, you know, not having a pension being there. That just speaks to the old kind of... Uh, well, if, know, if it just came up with the standard eight-letter alphanumeric one, I thought that would be a bit boring, so... I, yeah. <laughs> was that actually your uh, key? Because I would pay to do this house if that was actually what you did. No, I, I wasn't in the Red Gate house. <laughs> I, I, I changed it to that. It was on the default when I got the router. From, <laughs> from IS. Thank you, IS. Any more? Any more for any more? Good. Thanks very much.